What's up, everybody? It's your host, Greg Dragoon. And as I've told you guys before, Town Hall 8 is where your building blocks of complex attacks start, guys. Multi-phased attacks start here. So this is where a Clasher's real learning of the game uh, starts, basically, in my opinion. Now, of course, you could disagree. I know Town Hall 7, you do dragon attacks and things like that, and that takes a little bit. But I'm talking about where you're having to use a kill squad and, you know, and then your back-end troops. So, in today's video, guys, uh, these attacks right here um, are going to be some of the early attacks that we've seen in the game at Town Hall 8. And these are our basically go-ho wipes, um, or back in the day when, when I was doing them, we called it go-wipe with back-end hogs. Basically, and, and, and the other thing is, all of these attacks, guys, are going to be utilizing um, only Town Hall 8 troops. This clan, Little Reborn, that I'm visiting right now, is... All town hall eight. They they have no other uh, no other town halls in it. So therefore, there's no um, you know bowlers or anything like that, guys. These guys go strictly old school, and they do a great job at it. So we're gonna get started right here with darkness's attack uh, right here. And like I said, go ho white. Look at the troop cop, and he's got back in hogs. And so right here, it looks like uh, he's trying to pull the CC, and this is an old school move here. Try to get that CC pull, drag it out, see what it is. He's going to have to drop another hog. Didn't get a full pull. Aha. Uh -huh. Does he got it all? Yeah, he thinks so. So here comes his attack. And this way, the, the CC is going to be under poison and under the pressure of the wizards at the very beginning of the attack. Because that can really screw an attack up, guys, depending on who you're attacking. And especially if they have max troops in their CC. Luckily, that CC did not. He's got a pretty decent funnel, but the peck and the king blow the funnel, and so therefore he's not getting the core push that he was hoping for. But he uh, actually caught it up. If y'all guys seen that, he, he, he wall broke into another compartment and, uh, and was able to salvage a push into the base. And guys, he has not used any spells on his kill squad at all. He is going to use them all on the back end portion. And that is going to take the space down. The attack's going quite nice right now. He's got a spell. He could possibly even swag if he wanted to. Wow. Look at this. He's not going to swag though. He's going to go ahead and protect those hogs because there is skellies on them. Uh, he's going to help out that P.E.K.K.A. with that Tesla. And it's going to be a wrap for this base. Let's move on, guys. i got several attacks to show you in this format, and I want you to see them all. All right, and every one of these attacks, guys, are going to have a CC P.E.K.K.A. These, these guys um, have been using the CC P.E.K.K.A., and it works really good. And they have a P.E.K.K.A. in their army comp as well, so it's a double P.E.K.K.A. attack. Right here, CC Pull. Same as the first one. And now he's going in at the top. So he's going to pull the CC that way. Poison it. Make his funnel wall break in. Now that was a dangerous funnel uh, due to the wizard tower uh, being right in the funnel. Uh, that could have been a little bit rough. Wizard tower splash damage uh, does take out wall breakers. However, he did get, he did get it okay. And he's going to open up this next compartment. Uh, of course, his, his uh, P.E.K.K.A. and everything didn't go that way. Oh, well. Let's just watch it right now. He's, he's um, I think he had the plan to go into the compartment by the B.K.'s pedestal, and it did not happen. Obviously, he wanted to take the B.K. out. I like the surgical deploy on the hogs here. Dark Cruels. Really like it. Nice, uh, nice um, heal right there through the little bomb sets. As you guys can see, he's already got the space. He's gonna, his hogs are gonna be a little bit beat up by the end of it because of the BK and the Tesla, but he's gonna get the space. Whoa, that channel in the middle got both of his hogs. Wow. Yeah, it might come down to CC or his uh, kill squad here, guys. I think he's going to have to probably wait on the power of the BK to get around. So let me speed it up just a little bit because 
It's uh, it's going to be slow going here. But he's got the Pekka left, and he's got the BK. And there's the BK's ability. Oh, it's down to the Pekka. Pekka is the hero here, and that's why you carry the Pekka. So great job, uh, Dark Cruels. Let's move on to the next attack. All right, here we go. We got Darkness here. He's hitting. Now, he has dropped to one Golem, guys. And as I've told you in the past, uh, one Golem, you only need one Golem if the funnel uh, part of the attack is doable with one Golem. And right here, he thinks that's the case. Now, I got to say, there's a lot of trash here. Um... Let's, let's just see this and make sure that he's going to be able to make this funnel. Because that town hall also could attract uh, could attract uh, his kill squad. Alright, so his wall break did not... There it goes. Okay, he got in. He got in, guys. BK's coming in. Uh, of course, they go for the town hall, which I was afraid of. And now he's trying to cut him off with that wizard. But it's okay. I mean, this is not necessarily a bad result here, guys. He's going to get some value. Double cannon's going to be taken out. Or not. Now his BK's decided to go in after the BK. All right, well, hey, hey. You just never know what the BK is going to do. He's just going to do what he does. All right, so he's coming in with the hogs. I really like this surgical hog deploy. Doing a great job here. Really nice heal. And as you can see, guys, um, you know, the way that he's uh, mapped out his heals um, is beautiful. He's got this one last section right here. And, you know, it's a wrap. He can heal here. He can not heal here. Right now, the wizard tower is distracted, so he technically could swag this. And I think he will. Now let's speed it up, guys, because it's a wrap. Nice swag there, Darkness. Excellent attack, man. All right, so let's move on. Let's move on to number 11. And this is going to be our last example of Goho Wipe uh, with a CC P.E.K.K.A. Well, it's not our last example. I got one more, guys, but this one is the last one where the uh, where the attacker is carrying a Pekka, his own Pekka, and then carrying a CC Pekka. So, this the last one I'm going to show you, just a CC Pekka. These bases have a lot of these little spring trap channels. It's very, uh, very curious here. You got a great funnel right there. He's getting a lot of value out of his core shot. He's took down the enemy BK. He's still got the king's ability. Um, his Pekka. I think he's lost one pack of it. The other pack is still going. And he, he here comes his hogs. He, he dropped a couple of hogs out there just kind of beating up stuff. But really and truly, his main line of hogs are coming in now. All right, here we go. I think he lost a lot of hogs actually during that in that last uh, box there, but maybe not. Poison and Skelly. And I think he's going to end up healing one more time towards the core of the base. There you go. It's a wrap, guys. Once he's done that, it's a wrap. I knew you were going to lose some hogs on that that little channel, but it's okay. You got enough to finish it off. We're going to speed it up because this base is a wrap. Great job, Hadros. Excellent attack. And guys, for our last one, I'm just going to show you an attack. It's a it's a Goho White, 
but it only has one Pekka in it. Um, it's a shattered entry, just like the others. Uh, and he's elected to utilize some other troops. And he's got a balloon here. And he's going to use that balloon to keep his hogs inside the base so they don't path over a possible bomb location. And I'm going to tell you, it's right here where this bomb tower is. There's probably a bomb like in between it and the mortar. So uh, this is probably a secondary hit, and he is trying to stay away from that. So it's a pretty smart attack. I like this too. He took one golem, went into one area, took another golem, went into the other. I really like how he's uh, laid out this attack. This is very beautiful getting a ton of value for his push into the base oh this is super nice here war beast i would almost say doing it this way um seems to be a little bit more um effective now there's that balloon i was telling you guys about and that's going to keep his hogs from crossing that area of question and just watch these hogs. Now they're going to go through this spring trap in between these two defenses. He's trying to keep them from doing that right now. Uh, if the bomb tower goes, yep, bomb tower went down. Oh, that's beautiful, beautiful timing. So they didn't even cross that spring trap, but they're going to cross this one. Boom. You know, lose some hogs there. But guys, it's a wrap. He's got swag right here. Look at this. Man, Warbeast, that's so, so nice. And guys, um, this, these types of attacks are your building blocks. As you are working Town Hall 8, you need to be able to do multi-phased attacks like this. Uh, especially these. These are all pure. They're pure. Um, no, no bowlers. No, no um, you know, better troops from you know, Town Hall 11s or, or you know, 10s or 9s. This is just pure Town Hall 8 action right here. Um, and... Literally, it still works. These strategies are still effective, and they will give you the building blocks to Town Hall 9. Once you go to Town Hall 9, you'll be able to run multi-phased attacks at Town Hall 9, and there is a plethora of attacks at your disposal to learn. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks to the guys over in Little Reborn for inviting me over to grab these replays. And with that being said, guys, thank you for all your support, and I am out of here.